Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please all kneel. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Happy are you, O Holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise, for from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, through whom we have been saved and redeemed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we remember the last apparition of Our Lady at Fatima. We consecrate our lives to Mary's Immaculate Heart, and we pray in this Mass that like Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother, we may also have a deep faith and love for God and for the Church. Let us now call to mind our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. 
brothers and sisters. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who am telling you that if you have yourself circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I declare to every man who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ. You who are trying to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for nothing but only faith working through love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will delight in your commands, which I love. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord, and I will lift up my hands to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Let your mercy come to me, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, kami ay gawin mong daan ng iyong pag-ibig, kapayapaan at katarungan. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil. You fools! Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is written, but as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the last line of our first reading today gives us the lesson of today's celebration. St. Paul, in his letter to the Galatians, tells us, For in Christ, 
nothing else counts but only faith working through love. Only faith working through love. Para kay Kristo Jesus, wala nang ibang mahalaga kundi ang pananampalatayang nakikita sa pag-ibig. St. Paul, in his letter to the Galatians, was emphasizing that it is not just following the law that matters because the law cannot save. What matters is faith seen in love because faith seen in love is what really saves. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is the same point that Jesus conveyed to the Pharisee in our Gospel today. A Pharisee invited Jesus to dine in his house. But the Pharisee was disgusted when he saw that Jesus did not follow the laws on ritual purification. Hindi naghugas ng kamay si Jesus bago kumain. Lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon na palaging dapat naghuhugas ng kamay, dapat malinis ang kamay. Siguro sabi nitong pariseyo, si Jesus hindi sumusunod sa batas. And Jesus used that opportunity to teach the Pharisee a lesson. Jesus said, It is not really what is outside that matters, but what is in the heart. You may look clean outside, but inside you are full of dirt. Maaring sa labas, ang linis-linis mong tingnan, ang ayos-ayos mong tingnan, ang banal-banal mong tingnan. Pero ano ba yung nasa kalooban mo? Baka yung nasa kalooban mo puno naman ng basura, ng dumi, ng kasamaan, ng kasalanan. And so Jesus was trying to tell the Pharisee, it is not really what is seen outside that matters, but what is there in the heart. And then Jesus said, Give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. It is as if Jesus was trying to tell the Pharisee, You want to be really clean? Then do not just follow the law. Give alms. Love other people. Let your faith be shown in your love. Like what St. Paul tells us in our first reading, In Christ Jesus, what counts is only faith working through love. My dear brothers and sisters, today, October 13, we remember the last apparition of Our Lady at Fatima. From May 13, 1917 until October 13, Our Lady appeared to the three children at Fatima. And today, we commemorate the last and the sixth apparition day of Our Lady, the day she revealed herself as Our Lady of the Rosary. And the message of Our Lady of Fatima was a message, was an invitation to prayer, to have faith in God for the conversion of the world, for the, for the conversion of sinners, for peace in the world. Our Lady in Fatima and in anywhere she appeared would always invite us to have faith in God. But that faith in God 
must always be expressed in love, in charity, and in mercy to others. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are once again reminded of what really lies at the heart of our faith. Ano ba ang nandoon sa pinakapuso ng ating pananampalataya? We are reminded that our faith, that Christianity is not a set of rules or ethical norms. Ang pananampalataya natin ay hindi lamang sa pagsunod sa mga batas. Ang pananampalataya natin ay hindi lamang tungkol sa mga utos. Our faith is proven not only by following the law, our faith is proven in love. For my dear brothers and sisters, what is the use of faith if it is not seen in love? Para saan pa yung pananampalataya kung hindi naman nagmamahal? Ang pananampalataya na tunay at dalisay, laging inuudyukan tayo na magmahal. Sa mga taong may pananampalataya pero hindi naman marunong magmahal, dumamay sa kapwa, mahabag at maawa, sasabihin natin, eh, nananalig siya sa Diyos. Dasal siya ng dasal. Pero bakit hindi siya marunong magmahal sa kapwa? Walang silbi ang ating pananampalataya kung hindi natin ito ginagamit para umibig sa ating kapwa. What matters according to St. Paul is faith working through love. For in the end of our lives, my dear brothers and sisters, when we meet God face to face, He will not only ask us, Do you believe in me? He will also ask us, Did you love Please stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and present our needs before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also remember the people who need our prayers, as well as the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, through the intercession of Mary, our mother, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus, who is our way. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honored in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang bilikha Ipinagliling walang sala Pusong dalis ay dapila Maria ina ng awa and sacrifice live and let him go share the treasure I know that is God within my soul poor and humble heart offering pain and strife Lord to you I give all my everything my love and sacrifice In the face of the aged I see your wisdom in the face of the sick, I see your wounds. In the face of the poor, I see your loving home. In all of this, Lord, I give my all. Love and sacrifice, live and letting go. Share the treasure I know that is God within my soul. Poor and humble heart, offering pain and strife. For to you I give all my everything, my love and sacrifice. In the 
face of trials I see your saving cross In the face of danger I see your hand In the face of prayer I see your heart In the face of love I see but you My Lord